when was the last time you gave some thought to your ileocecal valve? It's not very well known, but it should be, according to Dr. Frank King. I find it to be the number one cause of auto intoxication in humans. We've been checking this valve on people and find that nearly 80% of the population have problems in this valve. The ileocecal valve controls the digestive flow from stomach to elimination. Dr. King explains. Now your small intestine, which is all the kind of spaghettis in here in the middle, is where most of your digestion takes place. It's like the kitchen of your body. Now the large intestine, or colon as it's called, is more like the septic system of your body. So when it loses its integrity, which commonly happens, it causes the poisons from the septic tank in a sense, and it backs up into the small intestine, which is your kitchen, and gets reabsorbed into your body. This is why we call it the number one cause of auto intoxication. Surprisingly, many ileocecal valve problems are caused by eating too much roughage, like popcorn or seeds. Roughage can cause this valve to get irritated, and when it gets irritated, it goes into spasm, and when it spasm, it spasms open. Now the septic tank is backing up into the kitchen, causing us many problems. Dr. King developed a simple hands-on technique for helping to avoid some of these problems. Before he shares that, he offers this caution. If you still have an appendix and it, gets, it is very tender, you want to be very careful here, especially if you may have a slight elevation of temperature. Uh, this is a sign that you may want to have this checked out immediately uh, as being a possible appendicitis. The first step in this technique is to physically locate your ileocecal valve. You should be able to feel a little notch on the inside edge of your right hip bone. From there, draw a straight line to your belly button. Your ileocecal valve is one-third of the way along this line. Press two or three fingers of each hand into your belly and gently tug toward your belly button. Hold that for 30 to 60 seconds. As you do so, you might hear a little gurgling sound, otherwise known as a visceral release. And that's a good sign that that ileocecal valve is beginning to relax. It begins to improve the integrity of that valve. It begins to be able to close. And it's very important that that valve stays closed to prevent the large intestine backing up into the small intestine. Try gently moving your ileocecal valve slowly in different directions while listening for that gurgling sound. Repeat this technique a few times daily as long as you keep hearing those gurgles. One of the most amazing discoveries we have found about the ileocecal valve is how it can tell us if we're eating the perfect diet for us personally. If it continues to be irritated and you find that tenderness uh, in there, you want to think, what have I been eating? And you can start experimenting with changing your diet, maybe getting away from grains, maybe getting away from sugars, getting lightening up on the raw foods, Maybe it's the heavy fiber things like uh, raw nuts and seeds or popcorn. Then we start looking at possible food sensitivities, such as gluten, such as dairy, such as eggs. Uh, so we want to be aware and start to find that as you change your diet, check your ileocecal valve. If it's getting better, that's a good change in your diet. Hopefully this technique has put you more in touch, literally, with your ileocecal valve. You can find more helpful information in Dr. King's book, The Healing Revolution, as well as at kingbio.com.